Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading for the week beginning April 2nd through the 7th. It's Raina here, and the only reason that I've cut up that first week is because these readings are a little bit late. Uh, there were a few signs that I couldn't get to on the weekend. Maybe I will pick a card from my Mystical Shaman Oracle deck for you and the remaining signs that were late to make up for it. What do you think? Think that will do it? Do the trick? It's actually a new deck that I was sent by a Hay House. And um, I, I, you know, I, I, I kind of had it laying around here and I haven't used it yet. So maybe now's the perfect time for that. And, you know, I, it's only fair that I promote uh, the, the deck by, I'll probably link it below, because I promise them, I, I don't like to do reviews necessarily until I really know the deck and, and feel like it's something I like, but at the very least I can use the cards in my videos and link it so that they get some kind of like um, advertising, right? So anyway... I, I just saw that deck and I thought, hmm, maybe I'll do that. So we'll see. We'll see if time constraints allow for that. Okay. I think I'm going to try it. I'll show you what the outside looks like. You're the first sign I'm using this deck. I think when I got sent it, it wasn't even on Amazon yet. And I'll show you what the back of the card looks, because I always like to look at the back, too. Pretty cool. Looks like a mandala. Oh, wow, these are pretty awesome. Okay. Oh wow, look what you got. Number 35, Medicine Wheel. Isn't that, the art is really cool too. I love the colors. Okay. So the heart of the matter is the Wheel of Fortune and this is about um, the, t the twists and turns of life how sometimes we're aligned and everything is going our way and then sometimes we are not feeling very lucky or feeling like things are working against us. And um, this could be a time that you are experiencing some good fortune because you did have your solar eclipse, which happened about six weeks ago. And actually... The effects of uh, a solar or a lunar eclipse can be for quite a while afterwards. And you may have been getting more opportunities in your life. Um, and it's just like uh, pointing to that. The Wheel of Fortune is connected to the planet Jupiter. And in your case, uh, Jupiter uh, is in, you know, if we look at it astrologically, Jupiter right now is transiting through the sign of Scorpio, and that is your 10th house of career. So this could be even like career matters that are really um, expansive for you. Now, Jupiter is retrograde, just like uh, Mercury is retrograde um, until the middle of April, but Jupiter is retrograde until uh, sometime in July. So actually, when Jupiter is in retrograde, you may get um, 
and you know it's 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 going back in that uh, 10th house you may get um, the kind of opportunities offers that you missed the first time around that maybe you're doing something else and you got this opportunity to do something and you you turned it down because you were busy and now it may come up again <clears throat> So it's kind of showing you that, that there's life is in a cycle. And maybe before, things were not going your way, and now that they are. What is crossing is the Queen of Swords. So this is a woman who is a real... Uh, she's a nasty woman. <laughs> she's a nasty woman. And she is somebody who may be... Who knows? Maybe she's emotionally disturbed, mentally disturbed. Um, this could be like a boss figure. So um, I just said something really positive, and now I'm saying something like this person. And um, basically, she's somebody who, because like the feminine principle is going within and knowing the inner things of a situation, the inner workings. But then you have the swords, which is a masculine force, and it's like outward, and it's dealing with communication. This could be somebody who knows you, knows your weaknesses, and exploits them. She may be in a position of power, but this could also be a mother, a mother-in-law. This can be... Um, if you're with a man who has a baby mama, this could be his baby mama. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I mean, the word baby mama makes my skin crawl, and it's funny at the same time. So I have to, that's why I feel compelled to say it. But um, that could be, like, if you're with some man, now hopefully you're not cheating on this person so she would almost have a right to like lash out if you were but if this is somebody that he has left but he's still connected to her because of the child she may just take out her aggression on him and you through you know because that's the time that she gets to do it so it's like feeding time for the energy vampire type of a, a deal and um what you know how does that relate to the wheel of fortune well i would say that things are turning in your favor. So this problem will probably get solved in one way or the other because we have here at the crux of the situation the two of wands. This person, oh my goodness, okay. Well, um, I, you know, it's so funny because I thought I mentioned something about cancer with you. I don't think there's any cards that connect to cancer, but for some reason I was thinking of cancer. Um, but if this person, for instance, Aquarius, is a Libra, they may already have problems with, uh, you know, being assertive, being, you know, making up their mind if they're still connected to this person. Maybe they're still, like, legally married, but they have... Um, separated or what have you or they say they're going to get separated this is creating this scenario because it's keeping this person strongly connected to you now this could be your spouse um, who is who can't tell his mother to lay off you or you, you know he won't she won't see either one of you Maybe you're you're with somebody who is kind of a wuss and he doesn't stand up to his mother and his mother kind of like is is very is verbally abusive and maybe to him but also to you. So you're going to have to decide if you're going to put up with this. I think the wheel of fortune is saying that you have like opportunities. Life is not just as narrow as you're making it out to be. The, the spiritual uh, message is represented by the Knight of Swords. And this is a card of things just kind of like maybe happening all of a sudden. Maybe you've been in kind of a holding pattern with this situation, whatever it is. 
And um, for instance, if you work for the Queen of Swords in reverse, and um, you may, uh, I think the Wheel of Fortune is actually connected to travel as well. So you may get some kind of an offer that is from somewhere far away, and then you'll be rid of that problem really right quick. But the Knight of Swords can be, uh, from the spiritual perspective, that you need to stand up for yourself. Uh, maybe you have been a wimp in your own right. And um, the problem is that some people think it's mean, wrong to defend themselves or to like um, set boundaries about what is acceptable and what isn't. But it's not, it's not like um, optional, it's mandatory that you do that because you teach people how to treat you. And it looks to me like somebody is trying to walk all over you or like tear you to shreds. The advice is the Four of Pentacles. This is about um, managing your money as best as possible. That It could be talking about you may need to have as much money as possible to escape a certain situation. If you're leaving a job, for instance, um, you may not get very far. Even if you try to set boundaries, the other person may be unreasonable and they're not going to change their ways. And you have to be prepared to walk. So whether it's from a job or from a relationship, you may have to be prepared to, and have some money saved. So the Four of Pentacles is whatever you have right now, see if you can economize even more so, so that you can stretch as much as possible and you have that plan B option. There's nothing worse than not having a uh, an, another escape route. If you like, oh God, I have to be at this job because I don't have any money saved, then that's that, that's not good. So if that's something that feels like you really want to get out of the situation, but financially you can't, then you need to start saving. And if, if you say, but I already, you know, barely make it as it is, see what you can do. Maybe you can get extra work, but you, you're going to need to also um, be a good ma money manager of the money that you're already making. What is coming in is represented by the Four of Wands, and this is a happy marriage, happy home. Um, so in this particular scenario, maybe your partner will stand up for you, and you won't have to endure this verbal abuse from this mother-in-law or um, this other person, maybe he will marry you. And like with that person that was the baby mama, then it's like it seals the deal and she doesn't have that as an excuse to treat you like you're just a uh, passing fancy on his part, that you're really family now. And um, that he can't really, she doesn't have much to say about it. And the outcome is the Emperor, which is a card of a sense of empowerment. Um, this card is connected to Capricorn. Uh, I connect it to Aries. I mean, it's connected, I'm sorry, the opposite. Aries, but I connect it to Capricorn. But Aries um, is a sign that's compatible with you. Maybe this is some kind of timing issue when the new moon is in Aries. It's the middle of the month and Mercury goes direct and maybe that's when everything starts to shake out for you in a positive way. Uh, the Emperor card connects to feeling like you are very powerful in the career sector. It could even be that you're assuming a position of authority. So maybe you've been under some woman who is very um, verbally abusive, and then you take the throne. You take a, a position of authority in your own right, so you don't have to deal with that person again. You're giving the orders, not taking the orders. Wouldn't that be um, the Wheel of Fortune in action if you ended up uh, bossing her around? <laughs> and she became your employee. That would be fun. Okay, well, that's great. Now I'm going to do that uh, oracle card, um, looking for that booklet that I just had about two seconds ago. The medicine wheel. 
Number 35, let's see what it says. Okay. The medicine wheel is a sacred hoop with the four cardinal directions well marked. It represents a cycle of life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And that's the four directions. The cycles of nature and the circular pattern of our cosmos. It has been used for millennia in indigenous cultures to bring harmony and well-being to the village. Its directions symbolize the four steps the human takes to become a person of power and wisdom. The invitation. The manif to manifest clear blue skies in your life, it is important that you take a look at certain aspects of your being. Enter the medicine wheel from the south and reflect on how you are still clinging to events from the past. Continue to the west and notice which relationships are toxic and drain your energy. Step into the north and ask yourself, do I know my passion and show it? End at the east direction, visualizing how you want to live the next chapter of your life. It is up to you how much time you spend in each direction, minutes, days, or months. But when you are done, make sure to step outside the wheel and contemplate your journey. You must not po postpone your healing journey any longer. This is called the medicine, which is probably the, the advice, you know. <laughs> It can be difficult to start, but you must find the inner strength to step into the medicine wheel, or you may lose your opportunity. There are many ways and many paths. Choose the one you resonate most with. Once you have found it, the only mistake you can make is not to follow it. Go boldly. Interesting. Well, that's from another perspective. Uh, this book is... By, or this stack, too, I guess. Alberto Vil, Viloldo, Colette Baron reed and I do have um, The Wisdom of the Oracle. She did that deck as well. And Marcelo Lobos. So, um, yeah, so that kind of resonates with the other wheel, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. And um, it's understanding, you know, um, what what is really feeling out your life at the moment as we begin this month of April Aquarius you're coming off of that solar eclipse you're you're a new moon in your sign your solar return cycle all of these cycles but that but this um, eclipse energy is very potent and um, you're going to have another eclipse that's a lunar eclipse that's happening in late July, July 27th at four degrees of Aquarius. So you're still, um, and you're also reacting to the, the Leo eclipses. Going to have a solar eclipse in Leo in the summer in, in August. So all of these things are affecting you particularly uh, because you are um, an Aquarius, so you have your own lunar eclipses and solar eclipses, and your opposite sign, Leo, same thing. Uh, uh, full and, and new moons, lunar and solar eclipses. And these are kind of like faded occurrences in your life. And because you're a fixed sign, you may make the mistake of holding on too long to something that is obviously uh, not serving you, doesn't help you in your life, Aquarius. So... I wish you all the best. If you'd like a private reading, the link to my website is below. Take care. Bye.